Hi guys, how are you? Here we are with a new video. This time, this video is dedicated to Giorgetto Giugiaro. Happy birthday, Giugetto Giugiaro. 85 years old. 85 years of incredible life. I know that many of you probably know who is Giorgetto Giugiaro. For those that don't know, please go and check out on Google. Because if you don't know, this is really <laughs> very bad. Giorgetto Giugiaro is probably one of the most known worldwide first car designer in the world simply because uh, he is the one that achieved the most he could out of this incredible profession when Giugiaro was very young showed right away a very high artistic talent in terms of drawing painting then when he became uh, a little bit older Dante Giacosa who was uh, the designer of the first Fiat 500, very iconic uh, car that really very well explains the economic boom uh, in Italy in, at that time, Dante Giacosa saw him, and that's how, you know, Giugiaro ended up in Fiat. After about five years, he was noticed by Bertone, and therefore he went to the Bertone design and then after that he has been in uh, Bertone for several years, he also went to uh, work for Ghia. He decided to open up his own design company. And that's how Ital Design is born. Ital Design is very famous all over the world because uh, it's the company that uh, made uh, biggest number of famous projects. He opens up this, uh, this company with uh, Aldo Mantovani, who was uh, the head of the whole engineering department. They, of course, they started small and then they became bigger, bigger and bigger until uh, his son, Fabrizio, joined the company working with his father. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about my experience with Giugiaro because I had uh, the great pleasure to become a car designer because I was very strongly influenced by Giugiaro's story when I was a kid. I used to buy always this uh, car magazine in Italy that uh, we still have, it's called Gente Motori, but also Quattro Ruote, and I would read a lot of articles and very, very often I would see uh, an interview to Giorgetto Giugiaro from Ital Design, some nice pictures of uh, his products, uh, concept cars, especially when we were close to auto shows or international auto shows. In those articles, he would talk about uh, how they were participating to the show, with which model, which concept, and explaining things. And there were a lot of pictures, of course, that time where you could see the interior, the exterior, but also some sketches on Canson paper. They are, those are famous. Probably you already saw them, but just in case I'm putting some pictures here so that you can have an, get an idea of what I'm talking about. So I was reading those articles and of course my passion started becoming much, much uh, higher. I was growing, I was sketching more cars, I was trying, you know, to sketch cars. And that's how I started to be orientated in car design world as a profession. Because uh, reading all the articles about Giorgetto Giugiaro, Ital Design, and see all the products that were made with all those pictures that they were showing the sketches, some technical drawings, of course, checking other articles about Bertone, Pininfarina, Michelotti, Zagato, all that stuff showed me, proved to me that uh, the car designer was a real profession. Now, this was the hardest thing to make uh, my father understand or my family, but at least I knew that I was not sketching cars just because, you know, like I was doing my early paintings, but because I was passionate about a uh, profession. But I have to thank Giorgetto Giugiaro's story, Giorgetto Giugiaro's person, because uh, he really became the example and uh, was an opportunity for my father to see that somebody made it in that field and made it really well. I start sketching, I start looking at those drawings, I start, I try to copy the technique and, uh, and, and I did everything I could to try to reach a, a good level to tell myself, you know, maybe I can, uh, I can really work into this field. Later on, my parents were convinced by a great article about Art Center College of Design and therefore I left and I went to USA. 
And then the rest is history. You know, I'm here, I'm 60 years old. I've been doing this profession for about 34 years now. But the very interesting anecdote that I would like to let you know is when I met Giugiaro for the first time. Because of course, for me, he was God. And when I went to the first auto show, and I was 26 years old, of course I went to their stand. I was on Ital Design stand, but I didn't know anybody. I mean, I knew them uh, in their faces because they were very famous, but and I did not dare to approach myself, present myself, so I didn't do it. But I was very excited to be on the stand of Ital Design, looking, touching at their concept, and trying to understand the, the thinking behind it, see mainly all the creativity that were, there was in the interior, in the interior, in some details, the materials already at that time. And the good thing that I, I, I liked about the Giugiaro design approach is that in every model, whether they were concept or, or pro, production projects, you could see always how functional his design always has been. And that's something that is very important for a designer because we don't do things just because they look pretty. We do things because they have work to make your life easier. And I think that Giugiaro really incarnates this type of designer role. Somebody that is capable to do something with an incredible intelligence, with an incredible taste, but with a, a lot of functionalities, and then, of course, there is this styling, very beautiful, uh, very appreciated from everybody, appreciated from the, by the Germans, but appreciated also a lot by the Japanese, because we don't have to forget all the Japanese uh, collaboration between uh, most important uh, Japanese companies and Ital Design, like cameras and, and other stuff. Let's not forget also that Jujaro uh, was also able to sketch, design, and, and make a prototype of a new type of pasta design. Yes, the pasta. Because his design was uh, gave to the pasta the opportunity to grab and keep a little bit more sauce than usually pasta does. So in the mouth, you know, when you eat the pasta with the sauce, you would have more sauce in your mouth and therefore it should be more tasty. Little things like that, but that's functionality, that's design, you know, with a big D. Because somebody, as I said, that uh, combines very well together beauty and functions. And then there's also a little thing I would like to say about Aldo Mantovani, who was, uh, you know, his twin in terms of the engineering department. It was a great man. And when I was in Fiat and I was making the Fiat 600, Fiat signed a contract with Ital Design of Giugiaro and Mantovani to make the production design activities. When we say production design activity, it means that we take uh, the styling model and we transfer everything, including the models, to Ital Design by contract. I was responsible for the design development and evolution, and they were responsible for the design engineering development. We were at Ital Design, therefore Giudaro goes around during his working day and he looks at, uh, at uh, other clients' uh, model. And one evening after a long meeting that I was uh, with uh, lots of engineers and some suppliers for uh, the back bumper, I remember, uh, I was uh, in front of the model with two people from Metal Design, two engineers, and we were talking about a detail because we had a little problems about feasibility. And then suddenly I felt like somebody was touching me, my, my shoulder, so I turned myself and Mr. Giugiaro was there. So that was my first time I was meeting Mr. Giugiaro personally. You know, I was so excited. So of course I stopped right away talking to my colleagues, and I told him, I said, Mr. Giudaro, you I know a lot of people tell you the same thing. It's thanks to you that I'm a designer, you're my idol. But I have to tell you that this is really true. I am a designer today and my beginning, it's thanks to your story that my parents also convinced themselves that after all, try to pursue the career of a car design was not such a strange and dangerous thing to do. 
rather than doing a car movie like my father. Therefore, I would like to thank you. I am here today managing my first project, learning a lot of things. I'm doing all this. That is my passion. Also, thanks to you. And he was very kind to me. I mean, uh, since then, of course, we met. And therefore, I met uh, later on, I met his son, uh, Fabrizio. We had the opportunity to meet again in uh, two working me meetings on another Fiat project, of which I was also responsible. I was starting following this project. And some meetings were made at Ital Design because there was a collaboration between Ital Design and Fiat Design Center and engineering. Therefore, I was uh, participating to those meetings. And I remember here another very nice anecdote from Giugiaro getting really mad, pissed and yelling to his engineers and some Fiat engineers saying, if uh, we had to listen to you, we can never do anything. I want you to do this. We had to force this change. We had to do it. I am sure that the technology will allow us to do it. So please stop bringing me always the same solutions because I don't care, I will never accept them. So I was of course in silence because I didn't know what to say. I was very young I, and I was part of the Fiat delegation. And I told myself, shit, he's right. It's exactly what we have to do. Push the engineer to do things different. And the, this is the good, I would say, strength also about the Jujaro philosophy in design. Pushing the system, you know, to do things that are new and not, nothing really revolutionary, but break the rules, break the ice. Don't do always the same thing because we know and we are 100% sure that that way, engineering-wise, things will work. Because if you do that, you don't have a lot of space to change things but also to create new functions. Because to create new functions, you need the technology to follow. And of course, after there is the cost efficiency aspect to take care. But that's another problem that we can solve in many other ways. Before I finish this video, in conclusion, happy birthday to the maestro of our car design, especially for us Italians. Happy birthday Giugiaro and grazie, grazie for everything you have done for the community and personally for me, because I remember, and I say this again, it's just thanks to you <laughs> if I could become a car designer, because it's your story that convinced my parents that I was not really crazy to ask them to become a car designer. Thank you and happy birthday again.